Namaskaram Sadhguru. The first question is from Ritika. Sadhguru. Where is she from? She is from Bangalore. Mm -hmm. Sadhguru, I recently read that in Italy, dolphins are coming closer to the shore. In Poland, tears are walking on the street. In China and many other countries, pollution has come down. Is it nature's way of teaching us a lesson? Well, we are referred to as human beings. No other creature on this planet is referred to as a being. We are human beings. That means the basic qualification is we know how to be. Unfortunately, humanity is going about trying to defy this. Well, I've been saying this in many, many ways, if we don't learn to do things right consciously, nature will teach it to us in a very cruel way. The most important thing in all this is population itself. Right now, what is it that is bothering us with this corona? There is the density of population which makes it jump all over the place. But nobody wants to address. Generally, leaders in the world have not addressed this because nobody wants to go against religious groups who are always against this for whatever reason. Uh, this is going on for too long. So one basic thing is population. This is really the only problem if you ask me. That is, we are nice but we are just too many. <laughs> now, we took death into our hands with medical sciences, vaccinations and everything. Once we take death into our hands, it's just simple sense to take birth also into our hands. Birth, we believe, is God's work. Death, we want to ensure we are responsible for it and we will handle it. Birth also should be handled with the same thing. If death is postponed, birth needs to be postponed. This is an important thing. The human footprint has become so big, so very big, that there is no room for other creatures to live. Now, uh, this may not be scientifically correct, probably it is not, but suppose you were a virus. Suppose you were a virus and you live in other animals and animal population is going down and down, would you not uh, choose a new habitat? Maybe. That is what the virus has done because there are not enough animals. One thing is wild animals have dissipated in a very uh, tragic way. Another thing is every day other animals are being slaughtered. In a year, we are slaughtering over seventy billion animals for food. Seven billion people killing seventy billion animals across the world. <laughs> I'm sure we are not eating that much, but uh, that's how wantonly we are living. So, if the animal hosts are disappearing, maybe the virus is mutating to live in a human being. This is not… I'm not talking science, it's just simple logic. If you were a virus, would you not do that? Definitely you would do that because if your habitat is disappearing, you would like to find new habitat, new places to survive. So, in a way, it is, but uh, this is not a time to talk about these things. This is not a time to say, you did this, so this is what is happening to you, you deserve it. No, this is not a time for that. This is a time for sensible action. If people are infected and they're suffering, they need your compassion and attention. This is not a time to talk about all this. But long term, we must think about these things that if we don't make room for every other creature to survive in this planet, then you will see we even we will not be able to survive because our life is not independent of all the other creatures, particularly… particularly microorganisms. They are very much a part of our life. You can live without your relatives and friends, but you cannot live without microorganisms. They are making so many things happen. For all you know, this virus also may turn friendly over a period of time because that is how these pathogens work. 
they are looking for a place to live and thrive. So, their activity is going on in a certain way. Is this a teaching? See, in every situation there is a teaching if we are willing to learn. If you are willing to learn, calamities need not happen every day, every moment. There is a teaching, there is a learning. But unfortunately we don't learn, we wait for calamities to happen and then we want to philosophize about it. Please do not philosophize, please do not go about saying, well, we got it and you actually we deserve it or people deserve it, those people who did this deserve that. Leave this nonsense, this will not take us anywhere. Right now, the thing is to see how not to carry the virus. The important thing is, you don't become a carrier, you don't get infected, make sure nobody else gets infected. The simple thing is distance right now, distance from everything. This is a time to be alone, this is a time to turn inward. Well, I've been trying to turn you spiritual for a long time now, it looks like it needed a virus for you <laughs>